You're bringing us a great forecast. That puts a smile on my face. Yeah, yeah I bet you can't wait to get out yes, there. Got yard work get to in do. the yard. Yes. Just pull some weeds. Are yes. there weeds this early? In oh, the yeah, trust oh, me. Yeah, Feel okay. free to come over and help. Yeah, no, I don't even weed my own <laughs> garden, so <laughs> I'm not going to be. Uh, but I'll watch you with a glass okay. of lemonade. Feel free. All right, I, I'll be over. Let's take a look outside right now. One spot to be today the Ocean City oh, Boardwalk. Look at that. Look at that beautiful scene there. Just a few wispy clouds to the south. A lot of people out walking on the boardwalk today. It's a great day for a stroll along the beach. A little bit more of a breeze down the shore, and we'll feel that tomorrow as well. Tomorrow you'll notice a difference between the shore and inland areas. It'll be a little bit cooler, but still a nice breeze. Nothing but sun and temperatures are warming up really well here this afternoon. Let's take another shore shot here. This is Cape May. Biking, walking along the promenade there, looking good today. Nothing but blue sky as far as the eye can see. You can see it's a little bit cooler there in Wildwood where it's 51 degrees right now. But further inland, we're looking at near 60 already. Wilmington's at 58. Lancaster, 53 right now. Pair of fives in Philadelphia, 56 in Atlantic City. We are headed to the low 60s this afternoon. 62 degrees will be the high. That is 12 degrees warmer than yesterday. So if you were outside yesterday waiting for the kids to get off the school bus thinking, that feels pretty nice out here. Today is going to feel about 10 degrees plus warmer than that. Best day of the week. But tomorrow is not too shabby either. Clouds and radar right now showing not much locally. There's this big bowling ball of green, our next system developing over the Mississippi River Valley. That lifts up into the Great Lakes region here tonight and tomorrow. Not really going to bring us much. It's Thursday through Saturday that we have to watch out for the threat at least for some rain. So tomorrow we'll start with clouds, a little bit gloomy to start, but then afternoon sunny breaks and much like today we're in the low 60s, which is pretty nice. Let's time this out. Just a few wispy clouds drifting in here later this afternoon. Today's a beautiful day, but notice tomorrow morning, this is about 7:30 a.m. See all the white there? It's pretty cloudy. It's kind of a gloomy start, but in the afternoon, we'll see the clouds break up. There could be a stray sprinkle. I think if it happens, it's mainly down the shore. That's out of here, but then nothing stray about the sprinkles on Thursday. It's on and off all day long. One batch in the morning, one batch into the midday time frame. Look at this big batch of rain coming through about 11 a.m. Scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder to the south Thursday late afternoon, and then it dries out for a bit. Before yet another boundary sags southward through the region Thursday night. Another round of showers here Thursday about 9 30. That front's going to hang out south of our area into Friday before it finally starts to lift back north as a warm front. So that means Friday will cool down through the day. It will stay unsettled. And then as that boundary really lifts back north, another low pressure system slides through on Saturday, bringing, you guessed it, yet another chance. For showers, and that's going to be the fourth Friday Saturday combo featuring rain here in the month of March. So nice today, a few more clouds tomorrow, mild with showers on and off throughout the whole day Thursday, and staying unsettled with shower chances and cooling back down to the 50s on Friday and Saturday. Jim, we'll send it back over to you. Thank you, Kate.